sorry it's been a while, but this is my latest and most recent instrument, uh, acoustic instrument that I picked up, and so this would be number 9 or 10. Oh gosh, I should know this before I start filming a video, shouldn't I? Anyway, this is an amazing instrument. This is a 1924 Martin 028 Koa. It's all Koa, and beautiful, beautiful wood. It's it's uh, pretty thrashed. I mean, it's been repaired. The top was totally, you can see where it was very much destroyed at one point and put back together. Consequently, I got this for a fairly good deal. Um, I love the fact that it's, it doesn't even say Martin on the headstock. It says it on the back, which is sweet. Old school Martin. Uh, very small body. <clears throat> and um, I kind of was looking for a slot head acoustic. And I, pl I was playing a lot of different ones, a lot of new manufacturers. And then I picked up this one at a store and I just went, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And it was $1,000, $2,000 less than some of the new ones. Now, being that it's 90 plus years old, and it's been destroyed and put back together again. I don't know if it'll outlive me. Um, I'm hoping so. But it's great for, you know, it's great for fingerstyle. Better with a finger pick or a thumb pick, but... Um, It's, it's basically just an instrument that I got because I really wanted a smaller body sound. Uh, I wanted a real pure sound. It, it plays in tune great. It finger, it finger picks great. It actually, you know, it's a strummer as well. A lot of the, I found one a long time ago at another store that had been converted from a slide version of this. Uh, they, they were making slide like um, uh, Hawaiian lap steel acoustic kind of instruments, and um, a lot of a lot of those got converted into um, regular guitars. You know, lower nuts. And I think originally the ones I saw, one I saw didn't have any frets on it, um, and then the one kind of its sister that had been turned into a guitar had frets. And then, of course, lower the the uh, the bridge and the saddle and the nut, um, and it made it made it a regular guitar. This is already like that. They made about um, 640 of these in between. Uh, it was I think 1917 and 1934, something like that. They didn't make very many of these, and they chose Koa because they felt like it would it would uh, stand up better to steel strings. It was more uh, basically a harder wood than what they were using for the. Um, uh, for for normal nylon acoustics, some of these had a convertible bridge. This one's not. This is not a convertible bridge where you could do nylon. You could put nylon ball end strings on here, but I have nylon string guitars, so I don't really need another one. So this is a Martin, a 1924 Martin 028 Koa. Look at that, look at the wood on that. It's just gorgeous, oh my gosh. So pretty. Okay, God bless you guys, talk to you soon.